What is up guys, we're back with another video and today we're gonna be showing you the BIOS here on the ASUS ROG Strix Z790E Gaming Wi-Fi 2. Now, when you boot into the BIOS, you should go into easy mode. And if you're wondering, how do I get into this BIOS when I turn my PC on, how do I get to the screen? When you turn on your system, just keep on hitting the delete key on your keyboard, the DEL, not the backspace, the delete key, just keep on hitting it and you'll be dropped in here to the BIOS. Now on the easy mode, we have, you know, all of our information here, time, dates, um, information on the board we're running, the version of the BIOS we're running, our processor, our speed, and our memory. You also get a live graph of your CPU temperature. It's gonna give you your CPU core voltage and your motherboard temperature here. At the top, we have some stuff as well, so you can easily change your language, no problem. Um, this board features ASUS's AIOC, which we actually did a full podcast on with ASUS. I'll link that in the description. Um, AIOC is really cool, but this gives you a guide on how to do it and everything, which is really cool. If you're not sure how it works, um, this will guide you through the whole process, which is really nice. Of course, you can search. So you can search the entire BIOS. So if you're looking for a specific setting, you can go in here and easily find it. Here are our Aura settings. So if you don't want to install Aura Sync or anything like that, you can set it up right here yourself. You have resizable bar. This is enabled by default, but if you want to turn it off, you can easily do it here. And then we have Memtest 86 built into this BIOS as well. So you can go ahead and run that if you're having memory issues. Now moving down here, we can see our DRAM status, our storage information here. XMP, and if you want to enable XMP, that's probably one of the first things you want to do when you boot up your system. Easy to enable and disable right here. You can turn on Intel Rapid Storage Technology quite easily. We can see all of our fans, and if you have an AIO pump installed, we can see the, the speeds that they're running at. You can see our fan curve, and you can easily go into QFAN and set up all your curves yourself. You can see that you know you have standard silent turbo full speed and manual and you can do that for all of the fan headers on the motherboard as well as the aio pump really easy to go ahead and do that again ai overclocking is over here and then we have our boot priority and this is really simple if you need to change your boot priority all you do is simply drag and drop super easy to go ahead and do that now we'll move on to the advanced mode. So that's everything in easy mode. Go to advanced mode. You can just click down here or hit F7 on your keyboard. So now we're dropped into the advanced mode and you should be dropped into the main screen here, which is gonna give you again, all of your information. There is a my favorites menu, so you can add anything you want to this menu and easily have access to it. So you don't have to go through multiple menus to find the settings that you change most often. They're all gonna be right here. Now, AI Tweaker is gonna be where you're gonna do all of your system tuning, overclocking, and everything like that. Now, if you are enabling your XMP profile, all you would hit here would be XMP1, and that's gonna enable your XMP profile, and then all your settings are gonna be based off that. If you wanna do auto tuning, you can do that. If you want to do manual tuning, you can go ahead and do that as well. Really easy to go ahead and do all of that, which is really nice. Um, and then you have a bunch of other settings that have to do with your DRAM frequencies and everything like that. But for most people, you set your AI overclock tuner to whatever you're kind of doing, whether it's auto tuning, manual, or setting your XMP. Most people will just set your XMP, but you have all the related functions to that um, as far as core ratios and everything like that. Now, I'm not gonna dive incredibly deep into this, but ASUS does have one of the best BIOSes when it comes to like fine tuning literally every setting. It's all based in here with like your load line calibrations. You know, there's a whole tweaker's paradise in here that you can change things. I mean, if you wanna do crazy overclocking and change everything, it can all be done in this BIOS. You also have like the AI feature settings that you can change and everything like that that you can do as well. And you can go into advanced memory settings here too. So, so much when it comes to the AI tweaker, we could make an entire video just on this section of the BIOS. If you do want that, definitely let us know in the comments. Now going into advanced, this is everything that essentially is on the board. 
So first we have platform um, miscellaneous configuration. This is just some extra things that you can set here. We go to CPU configuration. This is everything to do with the CPU. So you can one, see all the information. You can see information on your efficiency cores as well as your performance cores. And you can see all of the different features of the CPU that you can enable and disable. So here is where you can, you know, enable hyper threading. You can enable per core hyper threading, all of that. And you can go, um, you know, you can set that per core here. You can also go into CPU power management, turn speed steps on, everything like that. You can go ahead and easily turn on here. System agent configuration. And again, this allows you to set like your memory remaps, your graphics, like your primary display, your VMD setup, and your PCI Express link configuration. So you can set those there as well. PCH configuration. Um, again, you can set your link speeds for everything. Very easy to do. PCH storage configuration so that you can enable, disable all of your SATA controllers in your M.2 slots and what modes they will be in. PCH firmware configuration. This is where you can enable PTT. This is on by default. So for everybody installing Windows 11, you won't have to go into the BIOS to change this. It's just on by default. Thermal configuration. Um, you can go in Intel dynamic tuning, tuning configuration and you can enable or disable that. Thunderbolt configuration. Um, you can do PCIe tunneling over USB 4 and discrete Thunderbolt support. Now this board actually does not have Thunderbolt 4, it has the header. So if you wanna install a card, then these will become active. Trusted computing, this is all your TPM stuff. If you need to change any of that. UEFI variable protection, uh, password protection of runtime variables. PCI subsystem, again, removable bar is here if you need to change it. USB configuration, again, this is all your USB stuff that you can set. Um, you can also disable by port if you want to. So if you need to just turn off a port for some reason, you can go ahead and manually turn that off if you want to. Oh, where are we at? PCH, oh, that's everything. <laughs> oh, I keep on going down here. Let's go to network stack configuration. Again, you can set up your network stack within the BIOS. NVMe configuration. Again, we only have one NVMe drive installed, but when we do, we can click in and see all the information on that drive. HDD SSD smart information. Again, I don't think we can see everything here because we don't have a actual hard drive in here or an SSD. We just have an NVMe drive. APM configuration. Onboard devices configuration is where you're gonna find like your audio, your LAN, your Wi-Fi controller, your Bluetooth, and you can turn these on and off, you know, if you don't want them on at all. So there's just, they're not, you know, even gonna be seen in Windows. You also have your LED lighting configuration as well. So, you know, you can set when, when the system's in a working state all on, uh, the QLED function. So the QLED display on this will actually display your CPU temperature as well. So if it's on auto, it will be CPU temperature um, when it's not showing a postcode or you can set it to postcode only. Um, and then the LED lighting when the system is in sleep hibernated soft states, I actually have it all on, but you can change that to stealth mode, aura only or aura off. And then we have um, M.2 or M M.2 5 configuration. So the M.2 fifth slot can be SATA or PCIe and you can select it here. Type C power mode as well. So you can have your type C's be able to do power delivery. Uh, so you can set that up. And we have uh, alteration mode switch as well. That's actually on the bottom of the board. And you can have that be PCI link speed or your fan profile to easily change those. So it's kind of nice that that switch can be set to do different things. And when we have Intel rapid storage technology, Again, we don't have any actual hard drives in here. And that's everything in advance. I know I went through it very quickly, but again, a ton of settings in this BIOS. Under monitor, we can see all of our temperatures here. Uh, really easy to see all of our temperatures. And then we have our fan speeds. Again, we just have our CPU fan speed, which is actually on our AIO and then our AIO pump speed. We can see that all in real time. 
our voltages. So again, we can see all of our voltages right here. And a Q fan is the same thing, um, except for it's just not as nice looking. It's just all of these options. But this is everything that we saw in the first Q fan menu, just in a different format. And you can tune your fans as well. Um, really easy to go ahead and do that. And then you can set up uh, chassis intrusion detection support and CPU temperature LED switch as well. Now we can go over to boots. Of course, you can have set up uh, secure boots. You can set up boot configuration. You have your boot options here, which again are a lot easier to do in the easy mode, but you can select them here. And you can have boot override, which I like because again, you can see the flash drive that I have in, or actually the flash drive right here that I have in here that has Windows on it. So I easily just select this the first time I boot up. It's going to boot to that drive. And then when Windows does its install and the restart, I don't have to select this drive again. So really easy to do that. And then under our tools, we have ASUS's Easy Flash 3 that allows you to easily flash your BIOS. Really easy to do. Also, ASUS Secure Erase. So this allows you to securely erase your drive. We have user profile, uh, you know, ASUS SPD information. So you get full SPD information on your memory. Of course, we have Memtest 86, ASUS My Hotkey. Uh, you can set up hotkeys. And then you have ASUS Armory Crate. So this is actually where you'll set up if Armory Crate gets installed by default. It, this is on by default. So when you load into Windows the first time, it is going to install Armory Crate by default, but if you don't want that to happen, you just set this to disable and it won't install Armory Crate. And then we have My Asus, um, which again, you know, downloads and installs My Asus service app. This is disabled by default, so it won't do that. But if you do need to download that or you do want that on the system, you just set that to enable. So those are all the tools. And then we just have exit allows you to load optimize defaults save changes and discard changes really nice uh everything is really laid out really nice in this bios and i really like it that you know if we go back to the easy mode here everything that like a novice or somebody doing a first time build everything's right here we have you know our boot priority which you definitely want to set we have xmp we can see our fans we can set our fan profiles everything is really laid out here but for somebody who's doing overclocking or anything like that, you know, we go into advanced mode and the AI tweaker and we have so much more in here, which is really awesome. So if you have any questions about this BIOS and I didn't mention that this BIOS should be pretty much the same across all ASUS's Z790 motherboards. Obviously some settings are gonna be different depending on the board that you have but this should be pretty much the same. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.